In this session we're going to look at material variances and how um, changes in inventory levels will affect the calculation of these variances. Now previously we saw how we calculated material variances um, but we're going to look at how a change in material inventory um, will affect the calculations. So where there are changes in inventory levels, um, the variances are affected as follows. First of all, our material usage variance. Well, this is going to be based on the materials that we use in production, whereas our materials price variance is going to be based on the materials purchased. Let's have a look at an illustration. So here I've got a, um, a scenario. The standard materials required to make one unit is four kilograms. Uh, the price per kilogram is ten pounds. Um, and I've got details of output and materials costs for the previous, um, previous period. 100 units were produced. The material costs were £4,400 and 450 kilograms were purchased, but only 410 kilograms were used. So there we can see that um, we purchased more than were used, so our inventories end up rising by 40 kilograms. So first of all, let's calculate our standard materials for actual production at the standard price. That's our standard cost for actual output. Well, this is going to be 100 units at 4 kilograms per unit at £10 per kilogram. So we should have incurred a cost of £4,000 for the materials that we used in production. I'm then going to calculate what the actual materials used um, should have cost at the standard price. So I used 410 kilograms. Um, they should have cost me £10 per kilogram, so I should have incurred a, a total cost of £4,100. Now the difference between those two figures is my material uh, usage variance and that's £100 and it's adverse because the actual materials used at the standard price was higher than the standard materials that should have been used at the standard price. Next I'm going to calculate the actual materials purchased at the standard price. Well I bought 450 kilograms, each should have cost me £10 per kilogram, so overall £4,500. And I will get, compare that with the actual materials cost of £4,400. The difference between those two figures is my materials price variance. Now that's £100 and it's favourable because the actual materials cost of £4,400 was less than the actual materials purchased at the standard price. So I purchased each kilogram at a slightly um, lower cost per kilogram. 